Today, I would like to show you how I make my labels using an online program called Canva. I absolutely love it and I use it basically for everything, like my thumbnails, my labels, as you can see here. I even use it for some YouTube presentation or video presentations. And then, for example, here you can see the Valentine labels that I made for a recent project here on my channel. And um, today we are going to be making Easter labels for a specific season here. So first thing that I'm going to do is create a new project and then how Canva basically works is that you have different elements and text here that you can choose. For example, elements, you can put in a word here, let's say Easter. And then you have a possibility to choose, like here you have everything, then you have just graphics, photos, videos. There's even audio. Let's say you are making some presentations or videos. And then the other possibility you have here is to upload your own things, like your own photos and so forth. And then you have the text options where you already have some text combos, like you can see here. You could take this as it is here if you like it and then add your own text to it. Or like we are going to be doing, we are just going to add our own text. So let's see here. So we have the first thing that we need to do is to choose a frame. This is basically a placeholder. Like you can see here, by clicking it, it will appear over here and then you can enlarge it by dragging the corners here. And then I want to go for a background. Let's see what we have here different types of Easter themed photographs. Just choosing the photograph option. And then whenever you have these little crowns, it means that it is the paid version and everything else that doesn't have the crown is the free Canva version that you can use. If you're interested, you can also use my link to try it for free for 30 days. If you're not sure, otherwise you can just go with the free version. Now I like this one here and by dragging it into the frame, you will have this background here into your placeholder and then you can adjust it again by dragging the corners accordingly. This is the way I like it. And then there is the transparency button that you can use if you want to make it less transparent or more transparent, whatever. Then you can enlarge also the picture here to make it easier for you to see what you're doing. So now let's add a text. Let's say you want to add a text combo just for you to see how it works. So you can just click on it and then you change it. For example, in this case here, we're going to use Happy Easter as an example. And by, by dragging it, you can change the size. We are not going to use a text combo here, but we are going to add two separate texts, one for happy and then one for Easter. I would like to go for Easter with a different text here, like this. And then you can also adjust the line or the space between the lines, like so. This is one possibility. Now, like I said, I would like to have two different separate texts so I can more easily manipulate the size and colors of each. I'm going to choose over here the different type of fonts that you have. You can also add, for example, handwriting and then you have all the handwritten type of fonts. And then let's say you want to see if it works better with another background. You can just duplicate your project, add another background, and then you have two different possibilities here. By cropping, you can adjust the background. Let's say you want to move it over here to this little flower. So these are now two possibilities. Of course, you could also go and change the color. Here you have even the colors that appear in the photo already ready to go to match the vibe. Why not this nice green here? Make it a little bigger. Great. Okay. You can duplicate your project if you want to, let's say, add another writing here. 
ungroup so that I can choose the two different texts separately. Let's say I'm gonna go ahead and write handmade soap. Or then you have different things like sugar scrub or whatever you are making, you can add there. And I'm gonna do the same thing with this theme here, with this blue one. I'm just duplicating the project and then I can ungroup it and simply go in and add whatever I need to write here. So again, handmade soap. So these are my four versions here. And then what you can do is simply download it with a transparent background, PNG, to your computer. And then once you've downloaded it, you want to go ahead and first of all download it to your computer somewhere on your desktop and then you can pull it in into the upload section of Canva to have a better quality. Now you can see that the files are uploading over here. And once they are all uploaded, we are going to start a new project. And for this, I'm going to use an A4 sheet because that's the size of the printer. And then you want to have a mask of your labels ready to go. This can be found usually on the website of your label supplier. Let's say you use Avery and then every label has a designated product number and then you can look it up and download the templates and then I'm gonna just add them to this mask here fitting the circles. And then I go ahead and I take away the transparency so that the mask is completely transparent. And then I can download it directly to my computer and then print it as a PDF. And that's really it. I hope you enjoyed this video and it gave you some ideas how to make your own labels. And if you're interested in other projects around the subject of soap making, please feel free to check out the playlist on the screen where you will find many more. I hope to see you in the next video and I wish you a wonderful day. Bye-bye.